welcome students in this class i will be discussing about the union executive the president the executive head of the union of india is the president he or she is the supreme commander of the defense forces of india that is the army the navy and the air force the president acts on the advice of the prime minister and the council of minister he or she resigns from office by writing resignation letter addressed to the vice president powers and functions of the president legislative functions students the president address the first session of the parliament after election he or she addresses both the houses together and on the advice of the prime minister the president can dissolve the lok sabha and announce fresh election all bill passed by the parliament can become a law only after the president signs it the president can issue ordinance when the parliament is not in session now what is this ordinance ordinances are laws that are issued by the president on the recommendation of the union cabinet to enable indian government to take immediate legislative action executive functions the president is the head of executive all executive orders are carried out in his or her name all appointments like those of the prime minister the council of ministers the governor of states the judges of the supreme court and state high courts are made by the president so the president is the supreme commander of the defense forces judicial function the president has the power to grant pardon especially to the criminals related with the death sentence so he can grant pardon reduce a sentence or postpone the death sentence on an appeal of mercy the criminal or those who is acquainted must appeal to the president to get the pardon here she can even change a death sentence to life imprisonment emergency power the press the president on the advice of the council of ministers can declare a state of emergency if the country is threatened by an attack from outside a disturbance from within or financial crisis when there is a breakdown of law and order in a state the president can take over the administration of the state this is called the president rule and it is a state emergency when there is a threat to the financial stability of india the financial emergency can be declared by the president let's know about the vice president the vice president of india officiates as a president in case of unforeseen circumstances such as resignation or sudden demise the vice president is a chairman of the rajya sabha the vice president is elected by an electoral college consisting of both the house of the parliament so the lok sabha and the rajya sabha together elect the vice president of india the state legislature do not participate in the election of the vice president remember the state especially the mla of any state do not take part in election of the vice president vice president is elected by the lok sabha and the rajya sabha not the state legislatures mla etc <coughs> powers and functions of the vice president the vice president of india has got limited power and functions he or she is the ex officio chairperson of the rajya sabha that means he officiates the rajya sabha he or she officiates as the president when the latter is unable to perform his or her duties prime minister and the council of ministers in a parliamentary form of government there is a nominal executive and the real head remember this who is the nominal head exe nominal executive that is the president and the real head is the prime minister all the powers and functions in real are executed by the prime minister the prime minister is assisted by the council of ministers remember in execution of the system of india the prime minister is held by the council of ministers like your home minister defense minister agriculture minister health minister etc 
all decisions are taken by the prime minister in consultation with the council of ministers suppose the prime minister to need to take a decision for a, for an example the covid 19 cases he will be discussing the health ministers then he will take a decision appointment of the prime minister the party that wins the majority of seats in lok sabha is invited by the president to form the government one the, the party who gets who wins the maximum number of seats in the lok sabha for an example bjp won the maximum number of seats 303 so they have got the majority and they form the government the president will also invite them to form the government in case no party gets a clear majority two or more party can form a coalition government in this case the majority to form a government in India to sub at least two seven two seats are required. Suppose the part none, none of the party gets the majority, then the president invites a party that get the maximum number. Suppose uh, the party Congress got 200 seats, but 200 seats are not sufficient to form the governments. Then also the president will invite the Congress party to form the government. How the Congress will form the government? By taking the help of other parties, like taking the help of your Samanwadi party, ADMK, or any other regional parties. They will make the majority to 72, then they will form the government. This is what the coalition government. But if the party has a clear majority, 272 or more, then the president will invite the party that has got 272 seats. The Prime Minister appears the list of people to be included in a minister like Defence Minister, Home Minister, Finance Minister, the Ministers. These Ministers are known as Cabinet Minister. First, the Prime Minister is appointed. No, already before the election, the Prime Minister is declared. So, if the party wins the election, then the Prime Ministers will form the Cabinet Minister. <coughs> the Council of Ministers work as a team and all Ministers are responsible to the legislature for the decision taken by the cabinet. If a vote of no confident motion is passed against any member of the council, the entire council of ministers has to resign. Here it means, suppose for certain reason the opposition asks against the government that they don't have any confidence, no confidence that means. This will be asked by the opposition, sorry, opposition. Now, in that case, the party in power have to prove their majority, that is 272. Again, there will be vote in the parliament. If suppose the party that is in power cannot show its majority, then the government has to resign, that is the cabinet ministers and the prime minister. Then the president will call again re-election or invite some other parties to form the government. <clears throat>